Hey guys, this is a uh, model collection update. Um, sorry I haven't been posting videos here lately. I've been at a hockey tournament a uh, long ways away. I've seen a lot of cool stuff out there for heavy equipment wise. I've seen a. Uh, we got silver in the tournament, but uh, other than that, that wasn't the main thing. I was mostly considered about the heavy equipment out there, and there is a lot of stuff on the go out there. It's about a four or five hour drive from my house. So I will be out there. Um, after May 24th, the weekend after that, I am going out there. Hold on a second, guys. But I am going out there to uh, get some pictures and videos of the heavy equipment. Um, this is going to be just a uh, quick video showing my models um, that I have right now. There's one missing, and it's the uh, Cat 580B processor, the wheeled one. Um, that's uh, at a friend's house right now. There's a guy I uh, wanted a loan of it. It's not really a friend, I guess. It's mostly just a someone uh, my mom knows, and it's her son, and uh, he's only young, and he wanted to see one of my models, and he chose that one. I'm glad he did, because it was a pretty durable model, and it's pretty much already broken, so I decided to just have, you know, let him have it for a little while. Um, anyways, starting off here is the uh, Volvo L180E High Lift Log Loader. Very nice. There's a Cat 980G version of this in the uh, Cat dealer. I do have pictures and a video up of it. This is a Norscott Cat 980G. This is a new model. Um, the Cat 950H. I got this a little while ago. This is the Cat 924G reloader. It has the uh, four and one bucket on it from the uh, from the 420D backhoe that's out in my uh, that's out in my uh, um, shed, which is uh, getting uh, the cylinders taken out of it, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, the John Deere 624K. This is the high detail one. It's a very nice little model. Um, the Motor Art Volvo L30B. It's a nice little loader for, uh, I got a deal on it. The Deer 310 SE Turbo 4x4 Backhoe. It's an old one. It's one of my first models. The uh, First Gear International 175C Track Loader with amazing tracks on it. They will roll. That one there does. That one there won't. Uh, it has a demo bucket, but I don't, not, I don't use it for demolition. I use it for forestry. Um... This is another new one, the uh, Cat 14M motor, motor grader. Uh, it's a very nice grader. The Cat 140H. This is another new one, the Cat uh, D8R. The Deer 764 high speed dozer. It's a new, one of Deer's newer models. Um, very nice for Ertl. Um I know they're making the 850K LGP with the six-way blade. I will be getting that one. There's another new one, the um, Cat D6K. Very nice little model, opening doors on it and everything. If I can get them. There you go, door opens. Cat CB534DXW. Very dusty model. Um, compactor with the uh, canopy, not the cab. Ham 3625, one made by Saiku, the cheap one, with the cab. This here is a 365BL, with the cab guard from the, uh, five, no, the 5080, front shovel. Took the cab guard out, glued it on there, it looks perfect. The line popped out, but that's okay. This is the Deer 450 DLC bucket on here. It looks better, fits the machine a whole lot better. And uh, the Deer 450 DLC, with the engine compartment opens, very nice model. Uh, has, has a 365 bucket on there, I just did a bucket switch, looks better. This is a new one, um, I got a few weeks ago, this is my newest one. The uh, new by first gear, uh, Komatsu PC350 LC excavator, very nice machine, very nice model, it's very well detailed. Um, I, I, I like it a lot. It's very nice. Um, 
on here we have the cat 320 DL with a thumb so I think that's very uh, this is my first attempt at a thumb it's not too bad it works and stuff you know so uh, yeah it's not too bad of a try for a thumb um, so that's why I'm taking the cylinders off the 420 backhoe. Here is a Deer 200D LC. I've been working on a different uh, bucket setup for this, so uh, I'll probably come up with something soon. Um, right here is the John Deere 2954D processor. Very nice model. I love this machine. Just the overall look of it. It has opening doors. I put window mesh in the front, which I really shouldn't have. But uh, it has a war tie head. It's all plastic, but it looks nice and such. Here's a very prized uh, position model. Uh, camera's not focusing. Okay, here we go. The uh, Sword Velmet 941. Uh, wheeled harvester very detailed steps fold down the engine compartments in the back door opens if I can get it open let me see oh, I got I got 924 G forks should I get it open come on here we go door opens um, here's the Ertl John Deere um, 1110E four water with uh, opening engine compartments and swamp mats back here I've been working on nice little swamp mats uh, here's the Deere 400D articulated dump truck high detail with the uh, opening thing. This is a generation 2 one. Uh, 924G forks. All right. The Norscott version of the D250D Ertl does make the same one. This is the first gear Peterbilt uh, 369 triaxle tractor with the Talbert Lowboy. Very nice. First gear Mac Granite MP tractor with the uh, first gear belly dump on it. There's a new one made by first gear. Uh, this truck and this trailer came together, and this truck and this trailer came together. So uh, I did a switch because the heavy haul three axles on the low boy was better. Here's the uh, Nor not Nor uh, Tonkin Replicas Kenworth W900 quad axle dump truck with the working tarp. And uh, the first gear tag trailer beaver, beaver tail with the ramps, very nice model. Here's the Greenbush Logistics Tonkin Replicas Volvo VNL670 with the split axle trailer. It's okay model. 924G bucket. 200LC uh, bucket. 924G forks. This is a panel I made to go on the uh, low boy here. Um, so I can put the 14M on it. Because the 14M uh, slate that goes over the edges of the uh, deck trailer. This is just a random Circa sticker. Came with my new shoes. You guys know that logo. Circa. It's a good brand name. This is a little 164. A little 164th scale uh, truck, pickup truck, board, F-150 or 250 or 350 or something like that, I don't know. Woodland Scenics medium ballast over there for making roads, I haven't gotten a chance to get any, make any yet. Some just random stuff, like there's Woodland Scenics uh, culverts in there, a headache rack for the Mac, because I took it off. The sword, a little tool that comes with sword models. 
some rubber straps, the Cat 345 magnet, Cat uh, wind thing for the W900 uh, mural truck, a, a piece of pipe, mirrors for the Volvo VNL670, wide load banners for the first gear trucks, a pipe, more stuff, chains, random broken pieces and parts that I don't use, a bunch of thumbtacks for the uh, license plates and stuff I have to go up on the wall. Um, those are taken down right now because uh, we have started uh, the drywall and stuff. We started uh, plastering over some holes and scratches in the walls and stuff. Here is a uh, Norscott 777D K2000 Klein water tank, uh, big truck. Uh, hydraulic suspension on that. It's a cool model. If anybody wants to see a review, they can uh, have one. I will do it if they want one. It's a Cat 5080 front shovel. Made by, uh, a lot. I don't even know, was it made by Earl? Norscott. Norscott makes this one too. Um, and this is the massive Cat 992G wheel loader. If anybody wants to see a review of this, they can as well. So anyways guys, that is my 150th scale model collection minus the uh, Cat 580B processor, which will be right there. Um, pretty much uh, getting models every month or two. Um, I pretty much love them to death, so uh, this is my most prized shelf of everything. Uh, every model here I love equally. There's no model here that I dislike to the max. I love them all. Because they all rep resemble heavy equipment. And um, also the next one will be a crane. So uh, get ready for that. Uh, it's going to be cool. Um, ordering it now next week. So... You know, look for... Uh, Unboxings and stuff like that, reviews, updates, styles, stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, it's all my 150th scale model collection, and I will post a review of that and that if people would like me to. So, uh, talk to you later, guys, and it's good to be back. See ya.